Hey, what's going on everybody? Danny back with some more vinyl finds to share with you. I have got a lot to show. Um, I'm going to probably shoot two videos because I don't want it to drag on too long. So let's get this started. That is Jeans Addiction, three days. That's off of technically their second album. I mean, their first one was a EP live, but full length album. Ritual De La Habitual. I'm going to cover up the, the fake nudity because uh, everything is so PC now. I don't want to get dinged. It's the back of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad when you got to cover things up like that because you're afraid of getting in trouble. But that's the, the world we live in now. But this is, I don't know. Their first two albums are so good. I guess technically I think this is their best one technically but this is my favorite song of theirs of all time um, such a good album from start to finish this came out um, in 1990 this is actually a, a first press that I'm, I'm showing you right now I have been hitting it really good um, some good items lately over at uh, Standard Records in Vista. Um, the guy's been really been coming through with a, a bunch of really good stuff. And you only have so much money, but you get what you can get. But yeah, I couldn't pass this up. It was a really good price. First press, like I said, it's on Warner Brother Records. Um, you know, from start to finish this album, if you've never heard it before, it, it, it's there's not a bad song on it. Uh, stop, no one's um, leaving, ain't no right, obvious, been caught stealing, three days, which we're hearing right now, then she, then she did, uh, of course, in Classic Girl. And I can't say enough about this album, it, it is such a good album, and you know, this is of course their classic lineup, Perry Farrell, Dave Navarro, um, Eric Avery on bass, and Stefan Perkins, their drummer. God damn, that guy's drumming is, is off the charts. I, he's definitely my, probably my top three drummer of all time. I, I just love his tone. His, his, he is such a good drummer. I mean, just listen to the music and listen to his, his playing. It, it's just so good. Um, yeah, so let me show you the rest of the stuff I found over at Standard Records. Um, this is X's first album, LA early punk band, if you're not familiar with them. Um, John Doe, x -Zine, and Billy Zoom, I think. I don't, I don't recall the bass player's name, but, or is it the drummer? I think that's a drummer, shit, I don't know. Um, really good. This, this album from start to finish is another good one. This one is on Music on Vinyl, and this is a 2010 reissue, 180 gram. I couldn't pass it up for 12 bucks. I mean, this guy just keeps coming up with these deals that, you know, like I said, I've got the original copy. Um, you know, doesn't hurt to have a next one, you know, in case you need it for something else, maybe trade it, but. The other one I came up with that I didn't have is Under the Big Black Sun. Now this again is another reissue. This is um, 2010. That actually, the first one is a 2015 reissue. This one's 2010. I got them mixed up. But yeah, it's, it's a good album. Um, it's on Porterhouse Prime Vinyl, which I don't have anything on from Porterhouse, but Sounds good, it's 180 gram. Probably one of your most notable songs on here is Hungry, The Hungry Wolf. I think there was a video for that back when I was a kid. And I'll show you the, the label. But yeah, good album. Um, I'm not the hugest X fan, but you know, it's worth picking up at the, at the price, so. The next one I found over there was uh, the Ramones, It's Alive. And this is a 
an early press, I guess technically a first press from Portugal, and double disc, and this is on Sire Records. The vinyl is just immaculate. It looked like it had never been played. And again, these guys just coming up with such big titles over there and original pressings. That I'm, I don't know where he's coming up with it, but I'm happy to get it because everything else seems to be drying up around here. You know, it's a live album. It's the first live album. It's basically has all their hits. Um, you know, Rockaway Beach, Splits Creek Bop, um, Havana Affair. Um, it's it's all on there. You, you, you won't be disappointed if you're a Ramones fan and you've never heard it. Uh, it. It was surprisingly, I thought the quality was really good too. It sounded really really good. I, not that I th think it was going to sound bad, but um, you know, live recording sometimes aren't as good as you'd hope they'd be. And then uh, I think the last thing I found over there was um, the Horror Pops Kiss Kiss Kill Kill. And if you're not familiar with the Horror Pops, this is uh, 2008 US Press. And they're labeled punk uh, rockabilly. Definitely rockabilly, but they, they, Psycho Billy is another category that they fall under, I guess. Um, kind of have a horror theme with their music. Really good. If you're into Rockabilly and you've never heard of them, which I'd be surprised, go check them out. Really good. Um, I don't remember their names, but I think they're a three-piece band now, and these are probably the three original members. I don't remember her name. She's the vocalist, and... Necroman is the guitarist. He's he plays bass in the Necromantics, which is another horror-based rockabilly, psychobilly band out of I don't know Finland or somewhere like that, somewhere in Europe. But uh, really cool. Um, I've had the pleasure of seeing them a couple times, and they were great. But again, another good find over it at um, Standard Records and there's the, I believe they're on, this is on uh, Hellcat Records and nothing really fancy to show you on the label. It doesn't even, doesn't even have the track listing on there which is kind of weird but yeah. That's some, basically just gives information on the album, doesn't even, again, Kind of weird, but so that does some of my finds for standard records. I've got a bunch more to share with you. I'm going to do say that for another video. The other things I wanted to touch on, um, I'm a little late in the game on this because I know uh, Vinyl Richie uh, touched base on this a few uh, posts uh, back, and uh, Metallica Walmart uh, series, um, if you will. These are the colored uh, versions uh, exclusively to, to Walmart and these were super super hard to get when they first came out and all of a sudden they're popping up at Walmarts all around the place and I already had a couple of them so I have to complete the collection if, if I can find them. I mean they're only, this was 22 bucks, 23 really but um, yeah so if you're looking for these go check Walmart you, you'll probably find one or two of them. I found this one. Again, if this is if you've never heard this album, God, you're missing out. If you if early thrash metal, early Metallica, very very um, raw. Um, you got Ride the Lightning, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Fade to Black, Trapped Under Eye. I mean, the whole album, start to finish, is good. I don't need to read every song off to you, but those were the bangers on it. And the other one I found there was this one, Kill Em All. 
Another one really hard to find. I think these are the two hardest ones to find in Master of Puppets. I don't know which one's the hardest of them all, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't pass this up when I found it. Um, I like. I haven't even opened them up because I have original copies of both of them. So I'm just going to leave them sealed. And the other one, I found this at Walmart, but I actually purchased it online from Walmart. And this is the their new... Um, what the hell is it called? Um, Jin, uh, shit, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I don't know, whatever. It's their new album. Um, Jin Jitsu, or I believe, I don't know. I haven't opened it. I've listened to it. I don't want to say I wasn't impressed. I just, it didn't really do much for me. It's, it's just kind of the same shit over and over again there's just it seems like their songs are getting more epic in longer every 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 damn song they do is like 10 minutes long and it just it kind of bores you to death i don't know it's it's good but it's i don't know too much um so yeah i even found that there at walmart so if you're looking for it it it, it is kind of hard to find but um you know, I've got to complete the collection, so I picked that up. And then I actually got this one out in my favorite shop in San Diego, Record City. Um, my buddy over there suggested I probably better pick this up while I can because it, it looks like it's drying up as far as picking these up anymore or ordering them. Uh, maybe they're not being pressed anymore, but this was the last one I needed um, under the Bruce Dickinson era. Iron Maiden, which he's still currently in them, but he did drop off for a while. But I have no desire to pick up the two albums with Baze Blazy on Baze Blaley, Blaley on vocals. Not for me. This album, not my favorite. Um, I don't even care for the artwork, although my buddy over there, he seemed to think this was their best cover, but I, I disagree. But Fear of the Dark, probably the best song on here in my opinion. Other than that, it's all right. Completes the collection. I'm done for now. And what is it? That's on, uh, I'm not sure what record label this is, but uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the, uh, what it looks like. Kind of a skeleton, kind of like what's on the cover, slightly what's on the cover. 180 gram. Um, it's good quality. Sounds good. Um, just not my favorite. And then last but not least, uh, this is a band. I looked it up. They say formed in L.A. or Hollywood, but I I, I don't think so. I disagree. I, I think, from, if memory serves me right, they are from originally from... Texas junkyard um, this is to find an original copy it's very hard I do have it and they just repressed this one uh, 1500 copies I think you can still pick this one up it's on yellow yellow vinyl really good album start to finish it um, sleazy uh, bluesy hard rock not hair metal, just hard rock, really good. Um, in fact, I saw these guys open up for Guns N' Roses way back in the day before, just before Guns N' Roses was, was really starting to hit it. But uh, I think some of the best songs, my favorite is Simple Man, Hollywood. Um, I mean, there are, it's the whole side one's really damn good, but the whole album overall is really good. I hope they repress their second album as well, because that one's extremely hard to find. But yeah, uh, if you like bluesy hard rock, check them out. I do not think you'll be uh, disappointed. A funny thing right here, this dude right here, I don't know his name, but he is the guitarist for Minor Threat. It just seems so odd that this dude would go from Minor Threat, hardcore DC band, to a hard bluesy band but you know just seems like kind of a weird transition but hey man it worked it was a good band 
I believe they're still putting music out together. I don't believe he's in there anymore. I think he, in fact, I think he's either with Bad Religion or maybe he's not there anymore, but kind of jumped around from bands. But anyways, um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, like I said, I've got some more to share with you. And uh, don't want to make the videos too long. So um, I'm probably going to shoot another one here in a few minutes just to have it locked and loaded and ready for to share with you guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Check you out next time.